His name is Will Cornick. So his name's William. Right now I'm looking at William and his hair look like my balls. You cool what to do, man. It is your boy, Abdul Up Next, and I'm back with another video today, man. Yes, Sershki, man. By this time, you should be saying the intros with me. Like this video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Tell me, I would love to see how you guys' days was in the comments. But lock in. The title's called The Team, who K I double L E D, his teacher. After bragging to the whole school, as much as I would want to start this video and call him a Reddit moderator and call him weird, we gotta clap it up. Everybody put some clap emojis for the school shooter because he finally has some precision with his aim. If I had a student who did this to my teacher, I mean, I done had thoughts of doing this a few times. Is it just me? Bro got busy and did what he needed to do. W all ready for the video. This man's a hero. Three, two. What? This man's a hero, and if I need to drop my teacher's Addy, I'll let you know where Miss D U B S C is at. Yeah, Miss Miss Dub. <laughs> like this video. Let's go. There was absolutely nothing about him that would mm. say to you there is someone who is dangerous. Excuse me, sir. You said there's nothing about him. Come on, man. That's an obvious trait of a school. I know what he looked looked it like. That looked like a bowl cut on Buddy. Will always said that he didn't like Miss Maguire, but he would have never dreamed of doing anything like what Will did. She was Miss Maguire was her name? Another student. He approached her from behind and then He approached her, her from behind? To the and to the neck on seven occasions. But y'all living in a horror movie? What we watching Jason? It's Michael Myers? Friday the 13th? Oh. You mean to tell me everybody in the class got to witness their teacher going out like that? But you can't tell me when the teacher be bending over to talk to another student and be having her cheeks in somebody's face in a classroom you don't be wishing they did that for you anyways. What makes a person evil? Is it a traumatizing childhood experience? A mental health issue? Or another mysterious reason? What makes somebody evil? It's because they're kind of like, man, I'm about to curse. It's because they're kind of weak on the inside. They're soft and sensitive. So instead of standing on their business and understanding that this life comes with losses, they get to being a little crybaby. Oh, why did this happen to me? Oh, man, that's what makes somebody evil. Oh, I, I talked to nobody my whole life. Imagine being lonely. Bro, nobody's going to talk to you. You don't talk to them, buddy. That's not an excuse. Can evil be explained? Well, in some cases, it can't. There are no telltale signs, and the killer simply emerges from the dark, destroying lives and shocking everyone. That's true. Nobody thought Jeffrey Dahmer was going to do it. Jeffrey Dahmer looked like a sweet boy. He would have been able to persuade me some pictures. You gonna give me some fit pics? I can put on my Rick for the fit pic? Jeffrey Dahmer would have had me, y'all. Who thought they knew them. This is the truly tragic case of Anne McGuire. She had dedicated that her teacher life looked to teaching nice. at the Corpus Christi School in Leeds, UK. Five months UK. before her retirement, she was brutally murdered by her 15-year-old student, Will. Neow, 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 neow. Will Cornick. His name is Will Cornick, so his name's William. Right now, I'm looking at William, and his hair look like my balls. Oh my god, is that the permski? That's a nasty cut, man. He does look pretty innocent to me. He looks frightened in that mugshot. I look at this mugshot, he looks like he regretted every decision that he made. Next, y'all. The story begins in Leeds, in the northern part of the UK. It, it begins in the UK. I'm used to the school threads being from, like, Alabama, maybe Maine, maybe Oregon. UK? Bro used a knife. Making sense. This is not drill music. One of the most famous cities in the country, Leeds is known for its many historical moments, big university, and sports teams. I've in never heard of Leeds UK. It was the home of 61-year-old Anne McGuire. She was a devoted yeah, teacher and a happy mom. She had been Anne McGuire. That sounds like a famous name. I can't put my finger so mo I can't put my thumb on it right now, but you guys can tell me who Anne McGuire is. Anne McGuire kind of bad for an old mom, though. Kind of look at this. They had two grown-up daughters, one of which is the Royal Ballet soloist Emma McGuire. Emma? Anne I've seen that name before. More children. But she also adopted her sister's two sons. I think back oh, in wow. the 1980s, uh, when unfortunately her sister died. Everyone oh wow, W teacher. Anne spoke of her immense kindness. She had made it her mission to help others in the best way she could. This also so applies was she, to the a protagonist? school, where she had worked for four decades. Teacher worked four decades, you trying to tell me she's a good person? I'm not believing anything they're saying. 
Do you know how many times a teacher has told me in my 15 years of teaching, then continue to yell at me? And you think I'm going to believe that a teacher of two decades is a good person? <laughs> Kiss my ass. What makes this as tragic a story as you can, can imagine is that Anne McGuire wasn't just, just a teacher. She was a stalwart of a whole school community. In she was a part of a school community. Anne was helping two cases revise Spanish for their GCSE exams. On April 28th, Anne was stabbed to death by one of her 15-year-old students, Will Cornick. Why, though? Um, he got up from his seat. You got the Spanish teacher? Not even the chemistry teacher, the Spanish teacher? You're not getting busy. To death by one of her 15-year-old students, Will Cornick. During the Spanish lesson, um, he got up from his seat where he'd been working, took out his knife. Cornick what? had a 21 centimeter knife hidden in his backpack. 21 centimeters? That joint longer than my me- He took it out, hid it in his sleeve, and walked over to the classroom where Anne was teaching. Anne was oh, bent wow. over a desk helping one of her students with her work. She was bent over a desk helping another student. He approached her from behind and then stabbed her to the back and to the neck on seven occasions. Seven occasions? Dang, gang! You is Michael Myers! That little innocent boy? He, he pulled a melee in front of class seven times. You know when you hit the little swing in Fortnite, it only do 20 damage. No wonder why he had to go seven. But the teacher was bent over in another student's face, probably displaying her hot breath. Why do the teachers be bent over helping a student like these? What's up with this? What's this pose like? Kernick used an extreme amount of force to the extent that he cut Anne's jugular vein as she was running into the hallway to save her life. The savagery of this Sheesh. attack and the calmness on the build-up to stabbing Anne McGuire shows his hatred. Can we know why he did it? Oh, it was your Spanish teacher. My guy. How do you get less than a B in Spanish? It's a Spanish class. Not math, not science, not history. Totally not even the math teacher. And he wanted to enact the most severe pain he could on Anne McGuire. This shows that this was a personal attack. He wanted to cause pain and nothing was going to stop him. Anne ran Face into the out. hallway screaming like, for someone to come help her. A colleague rushed to her aid and pushed her into a room. She then blocked the entrance to the room while Cornick was trying to get inside and make sure Anne was dead. Make sure? Gang wasn't playing. He wanted that body under his belt. This was a hit. My man's wanted a stripe. When he realized he couldn't enter the room, he calmly returned to his classroom and pulled a Jack Daniels bottle out of his backpack. He wanted Jack to Daniels. celebrate killing his teacher. But before Wait, what? Long, another teacher came into the room, grabbed Cornick, and took him down to the reception. Grabbed a Jack Daniels bottle? What, what is that? A... a, a is that the is that the is that the take one shot get Liddy? He 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 trying to get Liddy after Wow. Not no emo nothing. You went straight to getting Liddy like you won the NBA championship. What you think this champagne? You think this the NBA championship locker room, my guy? The police arrested him. Meanwhile, Anne was taken to a hospital and given emergency treatment, but she died within a few hours. She was given emergency treatment, taken to hospital, but unfortunately, I don't think there was very much they could do. The she would have came back like terrible. 50 Cent, would you uh, have played her? A paramedic on the scene said that they were some of the worst stab injuries that they'd ever seen. God mercy the on my soul, quickly won't let the school, my heart turn with the cold. students and teachers in utter shock over what they had seen. Why had Will Cornick done this? Everything seemed absurd. Y'all tell me what y'all would do if you see your classmate do that in your face. I ain't gonna lie. First thing I'm asking, so is is we out of school for a week or what? Okay, he did that. I already knew he was kind of willing to do that. He sat in the back of the class for the last two weeks and got mad every time somebody said something to him. I knew he was going to do that. So is we out of school or what? Will Cornick was born on June 26, 1998. He grew up oh, with wow. an older brother and a younger stepbrother. When Will Cornick, I don't care if you was newborn, six months years old, four Five, bring that here. Did your parents give you a bowl cut in this too? So you went from the bowl cut to the perm to going off on your teacher. So he has a bowl cut and y'all didn't think he was willing to go ahead and do what he did. Do you see this haircut on this little kid right here? 
He was a school threat from birth. His stepbrother. When he was six, his parents split up, but there wasn't any violence or verbal aggression between them. Well, oh, so he had no dad. In, um, wow. In the Leeds area. That's quite interesting. Family that were he was fatherless, y'all. Family, very loving family, and a very supportive family. Wait, but he he, he 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 ain't live with his dad though. Separately, but they were both. I mean, a lot of people don't. People. Will's parents described him as a calm, loving child who had great relationships with both his brothers. At school, he had great marks and a 100% attendance rate. I ain't gonna lie, everybody at the age 15 had a 100% attendance rate. Your mama was making sure that you didn't miss a day of school. Man, I could have been sick. I was going to school the next day. Getting a day off of school, my mom letting me stay home? But that's a one in a million chance. Boy, you better roll the dice. Young person who was bright, uh, intellectually able, and in fact had undertaken GCSEs a year earlier. What than is a GCSE? In 2013, Gang Crips. Anne herself had written Will's Suck report everything. that he was a bright and conscientious student. In fact, there were absolutely what? zero signs that he would go on to become the first pupil to his teacher in the classroom in the UK. He had oh my God, you're a, and none you're, of them you're suspected ranked. what was going on in his mind. Wait, his friends didn't suspect it neither? Wow. You sure? I ain't gonna lie, maybe they just real ones and they staying loyal to him to the grave. Maybe they just not trying to say nothing. You should know if your homie's a school threat. Or maybe they just ain't even rock with him like that. Maybe he was the weird friend in the friend group like, they, you know what I'm saying, everybody get on and roast. He couldn't take it one day. I was in the same English and maths as Will. English he and maths? normal. He wasn't my type of person. We had different tastes for things. But it just seemed like another normal kid in my class. Will could be a bit shy, sometimes keeping to himself and generally not speaking much, but these aren't red flags. They're completely normal ways for a teenager to behave. Being an introvert is not a crime. Normally, as a psychologist, when looking at children who murder, so he had no friends. Violence, I mean, I would that's fine too. To see telltale signs, things such as an unstable environment. There was absolutely nothing about him that would say to you there is someone who is dangerous they said you was a good kid bro <laughs> they said you had a loving family growing up you had no business stepping on stuff don't forget he celebrated he emoted after he had him knocked she was knocked and he emoted mind you she wasn't dead yet they said she was pronounced dead in the hospital so while she was knocked on the floor waiting for somebody to revive maybe get her reboot card Bro got to hitting his emos doing the take the L. Only unhappy moment in Will Cornick's life was in 2013 when he was diagnosed with diabetes. He took this hard Sheesh. as this meant he was unable to join the army, which had been his childhood dream. Apparently, wait, wait, wait that's how that works. Self harming as a reaction to this bad news. Before long, Cornick started taking out his hatred on his teachers. So, because you had diabetes, you started doing what you did. I told you from the beginning why they be acting like this. It be something wrong with them. They be ultimately insecure. Christmas that year, Will texted one of his friends on Facebook saying he wants to brutally kill Anne. In early 2014, Anne actually sent Will to detention for refusing to do his homework. You texted your homie that you want to brutally do in your teacher? If my homie texted me that, like I said, the street code, I'm going to snitch. I snitch on school threats. I don't snitch on anybody else. One time you went to detention. Will was unable to go on a school bowling trip, and this enraged him more than ever. This you can't bowl, bowling trip, detention. Bro, I was in detention every week. Bro said it bowling in a detention. Nick went on to the school trip anyway, ignoring his teacher's instruction. That was almost did, like he, public humiliation. He went to the boy. school trip anyways. That's how dare she how dare she tell me not to go which he showed that that's what he was feeling because he then turned up and went on the trip anyway Cornick had lost his moral compass and didn't care about doing the right thing anymore more than that he was openly defying Anne. which man i'm so mad at my teacher because she won't let me go bowling man up Apparently, Cornick had also put out a Facebook message to see if any of his friends would and for him for 10 pounds. The <laughs> Did you just ask to $10 for a drill, gang? Did it, 10 pounds? How much is that in US dollars? $10? 
You think I'm about to throw my life away for ten dollars? This dude actually was missing brain cells. The morning that it happened, I asked Will if he wanted to play cards, and he said no. And I said, oh, should we play cards tomorrow then? And Will said, oh, I won't be here tomorrow. And I just thought he was gonna pull a pull a sickie from school, or bro, he said he was snitching on his Instagram, and he's telling you all of these things, and you ain't notice, bro. You put it on your timeline. Bro, if somebody from my school posted a story that they doing this to the teacher, I'm snitching, and I'm not coming to school the next day. Hearing Anne in front of all his classmates and chasing her into the hallway, Cornick returned to the classroom and pulled out the Jack Daniels bottle from his backpack to celebrate his deed. He then returned Yo, to where pulling he pulling out a bottle in class is crazy. Class so that they could all hear uh, good times. Bro, ain't nothing arrested, good about Will that. I'm went scared. Over to the cops with a calm poker face. He showed zero remorse or any signs of distress. What he in jail right now? I think he asked the first police officer to arrive what their favorite movie was. He was acting in an astonishingly relaxed way. There's an element of calmness that's chilling about this case. In fact, Cornick has shown no remorse to this day. He is completely emotionally disconnected from his horrific actions. Bro, this is not a horror movie, bro. You should have just locked in on your own life, bro. You're not going down as no legend, bro. We're going to forget you in six months. Dang it, we might forget you in six hours. His Ooh. sentence is life in prison with a minimum of 20 years before parole. Meanwhile, the school and Leeds worked hard to make a proper memorial for a woman who dedicated her whole adult life to the Corpus Christi school. In the days after... That's the why being a teacher... Staying bro, teachers do not get paid enough for their job. They get disrespected by students all day. Students do not listen. They be trolling. That's somebody's mama. In 2017, Anne's family opened an inquiry as to why none of the students alerted the teachers about Cornick's plans. After all, he had bragged about it to many people. Exactly! Detective Superintendent Nick Wallen, who led the investigation, stressed that it is not on any of the students' shoulders that they didn't believe Cornick at the time. It would be wholly wrong to sit here and raise that perhaps all of this could have been avoided if a 15-year-old boy had told the teacher. Imagine somebody took off your family member and bragged about it! Bro, if you don't get back, nah, prison ain't enough. That's somebody's mom. Shout out to these four people right here. Four people get a shout out at the end of every Abdul of Next video because they like this video. You want to shout out like these four people, all you have to do is like this video and let me know that you liked it in the comment section. I'm checking the comments and picking four lucky people. I have a second channel called More Abdul Up Next. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to. I have a Reddit and a Discord. I would appreciate it if you join the family us there too. Join the Dually Gang by doing those things. And also follow me on Instagram at Abdul Up Next because I post there too. Drip. Drip. All right. It's your boy Dooley with the Tooley and the big fat. Nah, I ain't saying that.